So Matt, I'm going to show you a way to cheat at cards, cheat at poker uh, in particular. Yeah. So before we start, I've actually taken out the, uh, the four jacks. And uh, this is how you'd prepare for this technique. You actually take the four jacks or whatever good poker hand you want and you hide them away somewhere. Since this is a demonstration, I'm just going to hide them in the card box. And I'm going to leave them sticking out just a little bit so that I can have access to them. And then uh, during the course of the game, you're going to be dealt some cards. And this technique is interesting because you can actually cheat when you're not the dealer. So even if I'm not manipulating the cards uh, or the deck, I can actually still win the game. So here's how it works. I'm going to take out some, let's just say some black number cards. We'll do uh, these two here and maybe uh, we'll do this one here. Okay. And since we have four jacks, I just took out four black number cards. And I'm going to change these cards, which isn't a very good hand, uh, for the jacks that are kind of sticking out of the card box there. Yeah. Now for this to work, uh, I have to switch the cards one at a time. And I don't need the whole deck, so I'll move the deck out of the way. See, that's misdirection. <laughs> As my right hand moved the cards, your eyes follow that. And you miss my left hand sneak all the way over here and grab the first jack. Mm -hmm. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. Watch the card close. The nine of clubs is the next one to change. You see, it's misdirection again. <laughs> you look at me, and I switch over the card without you seeing it. We'll try it another time. This time, I'll leave the card face up. Don't take your eye off the card. I can't do this in slow motion, but I can do it with the card face up. You just never want to do this in a real game, OK? Yeah. So watch the six. If I just give the card a shake, it changes to a jack. And when this one changes, I use that as misdirection to switch in the fourth one. That's all four jacks. So you're pretty much guaranteed to win with these cards, unless you get caught. If you get caught. You have to have a quick way of switching the cards back, right where we started from. Those are the number cards. And of course, inside the card box, I have ditched the evidence. That's jack number one, jack number two, jack number three, and jack number four. <laughs> now, do you play, play poker Yeah. a little bit? So you know that the jacks wouldn't even be the best four of a kind to, to cheat with, right. right? If you're gonna bother cheating at all, you might as well cheat with the aces. And then you're guaranteed to win. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All right, so Mia, we're going to do kind of a fun trick, OK? Before we started, I put one card on top because I don't want you to choose this card. It's a black eight. I'm going to use that for me, so I don't want you to have it, right? But you're going to get a pick of any of these other cards, right? Now, the way we're going to do this is I'm just going to run my thumb down the side. You say stop. Stop. Right there. That'll be your card. And I want you to autograph that card for me. I'll turn around so I don't see, but you sign your name on the face. Let me know when it's safe to turn around. You got it? All right. And uh, did the camera see the card? Yep. OK, perfect. We'll take the card uh, back here. So uh, your card, the uh, only thing I know about it is it's not the eight of clubs, because I put the eight of clubs on top before we started. That's my card. And I'm not a very good artist, but the reason I use an eight is because I'm going to draw a magic eight ball on the back of this card. Now, do you remember the magic eight ball, like children's story, where you ask it a question, yeah. you like shake it up, it tells you an answer? Yeah. I'm going to use this magic eight ball to try to find your card, figure out information about your card, OK? So I'm going to draw the little eight. I am not a great artist, like I said. But there's the little eight, and then the ball's always the hard part. I usually end up with a magic eight oval. And <laughs> there we go. Not bad. That's not, that's not bad, OK? So this, uh, this will be for you. So. Uh, Make sure that's dry. And uh, the eight of clubs, it's going to be the magic eight ball. I'm going to ask it questions. You don't have to answer. The magic eight ball will do everything, OK? So the first question to the magic eight ball is, uh, did Mia choose a red card or a black card? And all I do is I shake it. It tells me an answer. You had a red card. Is that right? I'm judging by the reaction that we're on the right track. So now I have to ask whether it was a heart or a diamond. So I'll just give it a shake. Ah, it's a diamond. Yes, we're on the right track. It's going good so far. You look like you want to play. Look, hold your hand out. You take the eight and just shake it back and forth and just say, what was my card? <laughs> just say, what was my card? What was my card? Turn it over. I'm going to freak out. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, no, stop. And that is for you. OK, no, this is <laughs> Keep it. It's cool. Yay. <laughs>